Evening guys, it's Mikey from The Tipping Times and hopefully today I'm going to do a really quick video on how to show you two things. First one is to create a both teams to score shortlist pre-game. And the second one is how to convert that into an in-play both teams to score list that you will get an alert from on Telegram direct to your device. So, as you can see, I'm logged into Quick Stats. I've already called it Public Both Teams to Score. I'm going to click on the usual button to drop down and explore the filter. You put your filter name in here. I've changed this to six months. That's normal for me at this time of the season, for the main Euro Leagues anyway. Um, show all how it expires. This will change, but this is we're creating out the both teams that score shortlist for pre games. All these fine pictures will change when we make the in play um, alert shortly. Scroll down too far, go away. Okay. So fixtures to include is show all highly expired, um, including all competitions, not worried about form. Fixture score, not worried about for pre-games. I've, I've put two conditions in, I'll show you what they are. Away, expected goals over one. Home, expected goals over one. Quite obvious, really. Right, so then we're going to the markets. Now, if you put stuff in this top filter, it will override the stuff below in the specific markets that you've chosen. So I've left these blank, so I've got different percentages and values in. So the markets that I've chosen, you can see them down here, but it's home to score, and you do it through this button. So it's home to score, Home expected goals, away to score, and away expected goals. And here they are. Now, for home to score, um, I've put in 70%, whereby they score in 70% of the home games. Home expected goals is 1.5. That's based on the home attacking strength and the away defensive strength in the time frame in that league that we're currently filtering for. Away side, I've dropped it down a little bit. You can see the away score is just down to 60%, and their expected goals are 1.25. So we're expecting both teams to score in these parameters. Only shows selected markets have changed that to yes, because I don't want the full quick stats cards to come up for this filter because I'm going to export it anyway into Excel which is what I do with most of them and then I play with them and filter them even further for kickoff times and highest value picks etc etc only show best markets no 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 display options neither here nor there that's all personal preference and then we're going to apply that, and that will then be a public both teams to score filter ready, which will give us this 36 out of 36. Doing its thing. Scroll down. And it's 25 or 36 because that was on earlier. That's fine. There you go. It's updating. There you go. So it's pulled them all through. Now we're just going to quickly change that. So you save that, yeah? And then that is your shortlist for both teams to score. Okay, right, now we're going to change that slightly 
I'll make it an in-play photo when you get an alert through Telegram to your device when the both teams to score triggers at a point that you want. I'm just going to do this quite simply. I'm going to change it to in-play fixtures. And look, let's be honest, quite sometimes both teams to score at kickoff is under even, so I'm going to put it up to 30 minutes. So don't tell me about it until it's at least half an hour into a game. And then we don't want it at 90 minutes because, let's be honest, let's, let's give it a good 20 minutes plus stoppage time at the end of the game. I've changed these as well, by the way. Stats are based on 10 combined games and at least five games each. And then for the in-play filter, I'm just going to change this rather than to have any score because pre-game there's no score. Must be nil now. And it's further up. Must be nil. Now, if you wanted to drill down further, you could do a both teams and score second half when it's nil nil at half time or nil nil at 50 minutes, 55 minutes, or 60 minutes, and then click on that one for the second half. But this is just a generic both teams to score filter, and that's it. That should be done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, happy with that. So now I'm going to save that. You can see it's been saved. Close it. And then we'll open it up again. And we're going to go down to the bit of magic envelope here. Click on that. And we're going to say enable notifications. And this will connect the filter that you've just created to your own personal bot. And that's the confirmation that you need. And you will get another one depending on what device you're using, down in the bottom right shortly. Um, my laptop, it will pop up. You won't see it, but it will come through. And as expected, it's going to return nothing at the moment because nothing meets that criteria that's only in play. And that's it, guys. That's just a really quick way of creating a filter for pre-game and then converting it to in play. You need to do it twice. I did a shortcut there. Um, so, for example, when you create your first one, if you just do what I did, you'd overwrite it. You don't want to do that. You just want to start again and recreate it with those fields in. Hope that makes sense. And I hope this is helping you guys. So, this is Mark signing out. Hope you enjoyed it. And like, unlike, dislike, comment, whatever you want to do below. As long as we can get this stuff out there, it'll help other people get better on finding the winners on the footy. All right, cheers, guys. Take care. Mark.